Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to discuss with you the new tier sets coming for Feral Druid in 10.1. Obviously this is preliminary, there could be changes happening and hopefully uh, there will be changes for them from my point of view. So this video is, is going to be me saying why I dislike the new tier set that's going to be coming out and I'll show you what it's going to be in a moment. But I need to gauge your guys' opinions, right? Because I don't, I'm not... I'm not every feral. Some people might be absolutely perfectly okay with this change. My biggest, biggest issue with it is because it's going to fundamentally change the philosophy that has kind of surrounded feral for a very long time. And I'll get more into that discussion, but first, why don't we actually just look at what the actual tier set itself is? So why, why, why don't we take a look? So Blizzard has released, uh, released his post. I'll link it in the, uh, in the description of the video. Um, and it details all of the sets of the specs that are going to be coming out. Now, they are subject to change. These are not permanently like locked in. Things could change. But for Feral, our two set is going to be your auto attacks have a chance to grant Shadows of the Predator, increasing your agility by 1%. Each application past 5 has an increasing chance to reset to 2 stacks. It's one of those things that can build and build and build, but when you go past 5 stacks, there's a chance that it's going to reset back down to 2 stacks. However, when that happens, when it when the reset happens because of the four set, you gain 5% increased agility and you generate one combo point every one and a half seconds for six seconds. So you generate four combo points uh, over the course of six seconds, right? So that's, that's the tier set itself, right? Now, the RNG element to that, I mean, first of all, your auto attacks have a chance to give you agility, Okay, it's very bland, it's very boring, it actually has zero impact on the way that you're playing Feral. It's it's completely just like, it's completely just RNG. Because Feral, it's also not going to be hasted, because um, as far as I'm concerned, Feral still works this way. That Our auto attack speed is uh, like static, it's not um, altered by haste or anything like that, the way some other specs are. So, we are just going to like have exactly the same chance uh, of proccing that there's nothing we can really do to emphasize that the the orange element is then that this reset happens so randomly this reset of stacks will occur hold on it's multiple layers of rng so you have the rng of getting the stacks you then have rng of when the stacks are going to break and reset when that rng happens you then get combo point generation which is going to really just like randomly just kind of throw in some combo points, right? And especially now with the new Berserk changes, okay? So for anyone who hasn't seen my latest video, they're going to be altering Berserk as well, which means that when you use Berserk, uh, you gain one combo point every one and a half seconds. And then your uh, generators also gain, you know, uh, gain an additional combo point. But then also your finishing moves restore up to three combo points generated over the cap. So that means that you can now over cap on combo points by up to three. And they will then be refreshed to you when you've used a finisher. But then you have these periods where like already with this new Berserk change, there were already going to be moments where like, for me, it felt a bit rushed, right? Like the, this, this kind of, this anxious play of like, oh, I've got combo points coming out my ears. And I, and I don't know what, you know, like I'm not ready for all this. There's no visual indicator of, um, in fact, you guys can't see, unfortunately, because my camera, I can move it. There's no visual indicator of gaining more combo points past the five. So you don't actually know how far above the cap you actually are. Um, so you have this new Berserk change that's going to be happening. And then also you have these this RNG of combo point generation as well. Now, it is all going to arguably be trackable via like various weak auras and such. But for me, this is like massive red flags for me with Feral Druid. For those of you that come into my stream, and you can look on the screen right now, and, and people come in and they say, Sai, how can you see your combo points? Like, they're not in the middle of the screen. Where are you, how are you tracking your combo points? And I say, well, I just know. They say, what do you mean? Well, I'm, Feral's combo point generation is so consistent that you can, you can just know. Like, especially when you're playing Blood Talons, right? It's like, right, three generators. It's likely that all three generators of crit, or at least two out of three have, because in AoE, two of them hit everything. So Thrash and Brutal Slash or Swipe are likely to crit. And then Rake or Shred, depending on the situation, that is unlikely to crit um, on, say, one or two targets, right? 
So you can know, like, right, I've done three generators. I'm either at four or five combo points. You can do a quick scan, right, I'm at four. I need to do one random generator. It doesn't matter what it is. And then I can use my finisher. Or no, yep, I'm at five. Amazing, because everything crit. So it's very, like, it's very um, predictable in nature. And this is what I've loved about Feral is it's always been, like, you can do anything at any time. And it's just very predictable gameplay. And I feel like the changes with this tier set and also this Berserk change for me is going to mess with that because now I'm going to need weak auras in order to track how many combo points beyond the cap I'm going. I'm going to need weak auras to know like when my tick of my Berserk is going to be incoming. Um, and then I'm also going to need to know, I have another weak aura for the tier set to know that when my stacks reset and when I'm going to have combo points coming in from that. So I'm going to need like two, maybe three weak auras if you really want to have everything min max. Two to three weak auras in order to track your generation of your combo points, which for me is just like really, really, really not good. I'm, I'm, I'm like, for me, that would, this would, this is the kind of thing that would actually cause me to quit playing Feral, period. I have loved this spec because of it, the way in which it's been predictable and cyclical and stuff with generation. And I would just hate to have these layers of RNG, like Feral does not need RNG in my opinion. And I know that this video is a little bit of like a rant kind of thing, but it's more so just like I'm very cautious of what's coming for Feral now with these changes. And I wanted to reserve judgment on the Berserk changes and like the changes to say, uh, you know, this edition of Thrashing Claws, for example, right? Which, you know, I spoke about in my previous video. I wanted to hold off judgment for a little while before I kind of decided whether or not I like these things. I I'm not somebody who knee jerks, but then I've seen this tier set come in and it's like layers of RNG. They've made this thrashing clause simplistic. Like, I don't understand how you're going to be able to play Blood Talons with these random combo point generators coming in. I, I think you only get the overcap. Y yeah, you only get the overcap on Berserk when you um, are in... Sorry, yeah, you only get the overcap on combo points when you're in Berserk, as far as I'm concerned. So, if you play Blood Talons, and then you get these random proc combo points i don't know for me i'm just like i'm cautious of that gameplay and how that's gonna work out it might be totally fine and it might be really smooth and work together but i just can't imagine that being the case i feel like this is really gonna be a philosophy like change in how feral plays right now and and, and how it's played since i started playing feral in legion right a very very level um legion pre-patch is when i started playing it and feral's always been this predictable spec and um, as far as I can remember anyway, uh, and, and now we're going to have this RNG element and I'm just really like, I'm against it. And, and I want to get your guys' opinions because for most people, they go, oh, you got to get a weak aura. Oh, big what, buddy? Grow up. You know, it's 2023. You don't have weak auras. And sure, fine, fair enough. Maybe I'm just the only one, but I'm interested to hear your opinions. So you can comment down below and say like, yeah, you agree with me or no, you disagree because you're actually okay with it. And other specs have weak auras to, in order to uh, play effectively. So who cares, you know? Um, fair enough. If that's the case, if I'm the only one here, then that's fine. But I'm curious to know your guys' opinions. So please feel free to leave them down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you comment on the forums. You know, give your feedback to Blizzard that way. Uh, and yeah, you can come check me out on stream at twitch.tv slash cyber underscore TV. Um, thank you for watching. Take care.